Welcome to Excel Basics video number five. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Basics. Hey, Excel Basics number five, we got to talk about math. Why do we have to talk about math? Because Excel knows math. Excel knows the order of operations. And we have to talk about all the symbols. We've already talked about some of them, but here's a little list. We have parentheses. That a caret represents exponents. The um, asterisk represents multiplication. Forward slash is division, plus, minus. And we also talked about the ampersand in earlier videos. Uh, this symbol right here, that is the uh, join symbol. If only I knew how to type. Oh, there we go. Now, why is this important? Because Excel, uh, well, this is important so we can type our math formulas we want, but this also is important, the order of operations from algebra. You got to do everything in the parentheses first, and then every and then all the exponents, then all the multiplication and division left to right, and all the addition and subtraction left to right. Now for th some of those, for some of you who might go on to do more complicated uh, formulas, here's a great list of exactly how Excel evaluates formulas, including colons and in sum, commas for uh, unions, negation. Uh, if you have a formatted number for some odd reason in a formula, even um, some of the comparative uh, operators and ampersand. But we're just going to stick to this and the order of operations. Let's click on this Math 2 sheet, and uh, let's try this out. I want to do, oh, what is 3 plus 3 times 2? Is it 12 or is it 9? Let's see what happens. Equals 3 times 3 plus 3 times 2. Looks like it's 9. I'm pretty sure I thought it was 12, though, because don't you go 3 plus 3 is 9 times, no, 3 plus 3, I can't even add. Uh, 3 plus 3 is 6 times 2 is 12. Well, that doesn't follow the order of operations because multiplication comes first. Well, let's go ahead and try this one. If you really did want to force addition first, no problem. You just got to remember to put parentheses. Equals parentheses 3 plus 3, close parentheses times 2, and that'll be 12. By the way, if these were numbers that varied, as we've seen in earlier videos, we'd never type those in. We'd put them as cell references. But for this uh, learning and looking at math and order of operations, it's just fine. Hey, let's try this exponent. What's 2 raised to the second power equals 2? Shift 6 for caret 2. That's 2 raised to the second power. Let's go ahead and change this. Equals 2 caret 14. Hey, that's how many columns there are in the new uh, 2007 Excel. Let's try equals 2 caret 20. That's how many rows there are in the new Excel. Equals 2 caret 34, 17 billion, etc. That's how many cells there are in Excel. Now let's look at negation because if you really want 2 squared and then take the opposite of it. This won't work. Let's go e uh, equals minus 2 caret 2. It will uh, convert this negation to uh, this. It'll be minus 2 squared, which of course is 4. But if you want to do that, you'd have to put it in parentheses. Equals minus in parentheses 2 caret 2. And then that would work. That would give you a negative 4. Now, um, I want to go ahead and try this formula right here. I just type that out. Um, and we're going to try it over here. Oh, type it out. There we go. Uh, 2 plus 2 raised to the 2 minus 4 in parentheses minus 3 times 2. I'm going to hit Control Enter. By the way, Control Enter is a great thing because I want to do something to the cell immediately. And that's. I avoided hitting enter and then having to click back up. Well, there it is, minus 4. But I want to show you, you can see up here in the formula, I want to show you how you can get Excel to walk you through all the steps. It's called Formula Evaluator. In 2003, you go to Tools menu, um, Formula Auditing, and then Evaluate Formula. In 2007, you go to Formulas Ribbon, Formula Auditing, 
evaluate formula. The keyboard shortcut that works in both versions is Alt T U F. Now I remember that from 2003. That's Alt Tools Auditing uh, Evaluator. Tough. I always remember tough because this is such a cool tough thing. Evaluate formula. Not only that, but this trick right here. If you've seen any, any of my other more advanced videos, we use this all the time when we be, get big complicated formulas because it'll walk you through and show you how it calculates. But here we're using it to see the order of operations. Notice it went into the parentheses first and it will always underline what it's about to calculate. So it knows between plus, minus, and, and exponent to do that first. So I click evaluate. It does the next thing. It has to do the first plus, evaluate, and then the minus evaluate. Then it has to get rid of the parentheses. And now it jumps over to the multiplication mm -hmm. and evaluates that. And finally, it can do the subtraction. And that's how it does it. Don't forget, evaluate formula. Just an amazing trick. All right, we'll see you next video. But first, as always, if you want to get the workbooks, go to the Excel is Fun YouTube, scroll down, and there's the link. You click on it, and there's the workbooks for this series and lots and lots of other book workbooks for the other series. And for this basic series, uh, there it is, the uh, web address to get the download the complete book for free or any of the files. All right, see you next basic video.